Sources are a fundamental component in machinations that produces unlimited resources for other nodes to use. The resources can represent anything from currencies, workers, items, and stats. Sources are dependent on their output resource connections since they are the controlling factor of resource generation. The amount of resources generated is specified by the formulas on the output connection. For example, setting the connection's formula to 10 will control the source to generate 10 resources each time the source is activated. Using the versatility of connections, sources can generate multiple flows of resources such as random values, transfers with predetermined frequency, or chance-based transfers. Moreover, sources can generate resources for an unlimited number of nodes simultaneously with individual resource flow for each output path. The first option you can set in the Proprieties panel of a source is the trigger mode of the component. This field controls the action that needs to be taken for the node to activate its function. Passive sources generate resources only when connected nodes pull resources from them or when the sources are activated by triggers on state connections. Interactive sources create the resources when they are clicked on during an interactive play. Interactive nodes fire after being clicked on when the next step begins. Sources set to automatic will generate resources at every step of a simulation. This is the default trigger mode for sources. Sources with enabling trigger mode will send resources on the first step of interactive plays and predictions. During the play, enabling nodes act as passive nodes that require adjacent triggers. Additionally, they are activated once each time a connected enabling condition is met. The second propriety of sources, action, determines how the resources are being sent to their outputs. Sources with the push any action will send resources toward any output regardless if several outputs cannot accept resources. On the other hand, if a source has the push all action, the node will stop producing resources on all outputs if at least one of them cannot accept resources. The last propriety of a source is the resource color filter. Color filters are used to represent different types of generated resources, which can have specific flows through the diagram based on their color. The selected color filter can be observed on the source's stroke color and on the resource token generated by them. Sources are one of the most important building blocks of a diagram due to their versatility and power to generate any type of resource that could be counted. Here are some suggestions on several systems that could be represented using a source. Material generation. Model mines that produce minerals, forests that produce timber, factories that produce manufactured goods, and many more. Economic flows. Generate different types of incomes. Track investments and manage spendings. Workflow visualization, represent completed tasks, monitor production efficiency, estimate delivery times. Timers, count each time interval based on minutes, hours, months, or any metric relevant to the diagram counters. Do you want to learn how to harness the power of the source node for your system simulations? Dive into the documentation linked in the video description.